Hello everyone and welcome to Zach P Productions and today will be the second proper shotgun mic review and today's one is the more budget comparison, the Boya PVM3000S. So this is a review of this microphone here. Now uh, this microphone is available in Singapore at $200 and uh, $195 to be exact and uh, this is a loan set from uh, SLR Revolution. I'd like to thank them for loaning me this copy to try it out. And uh, as I said, this is a review for this set and uh, usually I have a comparison mic and the comparison mic will be the NTG4 Plus. And you can see that most of these mics are up here. The Channel 1 mic which is the Boya is this side and the Channel 2 mic which is the NTG4 Plus is this side. And I will split it up within this uh, video track itself and then you can see which mic is being played at the bottom left hand corner. Uh, in terms of the gain structure wise, the Boya is uh, 51 gain on the recorder here and this is 48 gain, 3 gains of difference. And uh, they sound about same you know, level wise, so you know when I alternate between the tracks, you can actually hear uh, what's the difference between both of these mics. Now uh, the Boya comes in this packaging here, which actually if you ask me is quite comprehensive, it's a box. Uh, then there is the carrying case and with the foam windshield and then uh, even comes with a dead cap. And then it comes with a proper nice shock mount that actually you know absorbs some shock. So it's quite nice that Boya actually gives quite a comprehensive amount of item considering that it's only just 200 sing dollars. Now in the States, I do not know what's the price because I saw it at Dorama but uh, it's sold out already. 195 sing dollars is about, I guess about 130 USD. While the NTG4 Plus in Singapore is about 370 I believe, 380. Uh, in the States it's like 390 USD. So depending on where you are, this Boya is half the price of NTG4 Plus or even one third the price of the NTG4 Plus. Now uh, in terms, that's pretty much it for packaging and in terms of the microphone itself, the Boya is a 163 gram mic, it is a modular mic and it can be powered by an AA battery, very similar to the NTG4 Plus which has an internal power supply, the Boya can be actually powered by the AA battery itself for uh, I would say as uh, systems that do not have phantom power. Well, if you have phantom power, you can actually use the phantom power from the recorder itself, in this case I'm doing here through the Mix Pre 3. So, uh, Pretty much the Boya, the mic dimension wise is about the same as the NTG4 Plus and it's as I say 163 grams. So it is actually slightly lighter than the MKH416 I have here which is about 175 grams by the way. There is a switch to on and off the mic because you know it has a battery and then it actually also has the high pass filter to actually you know, filter away all the low rumbling sound if required. Now in terms of specification there really isn't much, I mean it's written only on the back of the box, I can, if you go online you can't even find much. It's a sub super cardioid mic, it has a 40 to 20,000 hertz and it has a signal to noise ratio of about 14 dB, uh, 80 dB right here but I believe that it's uh, 14 dB weighted. And runs with phantom power, 12, uh, not 12, 24 or 48 volts and uh, it has a low cut filter inside. Okay, so pretty much nothing much to talk about the mic. By the way, this is the shorter version, this is the 3000S. As I said, this is a modular mic. The Boya PVM 3000S is the proper model number for this mic itself and there are the longer versions. Uh, you can buy the longer interference tube to actually get a more directional sound. So this is the shortest one. Uh, in terms of the sound quality wise, I'll let you guys hear and so far I think you already pretty much heard uh, while I'm talking along the way the on axis sound. So as with my last shotgun mic test, I have a proper test suite here you can see on the screen now. So I think so far you have heard already the on axis test. So the next test I'm going to do is the off axis test but before that let me show you how far the mic is the mic is about seven inches away from me and it's pointing towards my mouth here so the sound you are getting is pretty much what you would expect out of a normal shotgun mic if placed in an interview style kind of a video itself and if you just crop in a video you can probably crop away the microphone itself as too so let's take a listen to on axis sound and now I'll do off axis, I'll count 1 to 10 moving to left, to the right and then let you guys hear. Now the mics on the screen looks like far apart but it's like only like 3, 2 cm apart, 1 inch apart between both of these mics so they are really close to each other. So let me try the off axis test now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
So what you have heard is the off axis test. You know, you can j just go around and compare it. By the way, all, the, all of the various tests are in the bookmark, you know, if you want to jump towards those tests. And the next test uh, we'll try is the traffic noise test. And that is something that I tried previously and it works pretty well. But today I'll only be running the speaker at 50% because I think 100% is quite unrealistic unless you're standing next to the traffic itself. 50% from the left side. Now this is the traffic sound at 50% of my speaker volume is on the left side. This is by the way the uh, Boss Revolve Plus speaker so it's actually quite loud in my room. My room is sound treated so you can hear only the sound from the left side. So currently I'm speaking to let you guys hear how it sounds like with a traffic and the uh, speaking, the person you know you are interviewing directly with a shotgun mic in front. Now, uh, this is quite a case where you really have no choice but to interview or talk to a person or shoot something next to a traffic itself. And you can so far hear how it sounds like between both of these mics. I'm alternating between them. But uh, I'll keep quiet for the next few seconds and alternate between both mics to let you guys hear how much sound difference for the background itself when you're actually having a traffic to the left side of your microphone. And that's pretty much it for the traffic test. I let you guys so far, I think, hear how roughly it would sound like if you were standing next to the traffic without actually leaving the room. So I'll be now offing the traffic sound and we'll continue on with the rest of the review itself. Now that is pretty much it for the traffic sound. The next thing I'm going to let you guys hear is the room sound. And uh, today, you know, I actually left my door slightly open so there is a little bit more noise. But let you guys hear the sound between both of these microphones itself. I'll keep quiet for the next 20 seconds. Okay, so pretty much I think you'll hear the comparison between both of these mics and uh, it's quite quiet if you just listen it. So uh, that's pretty much it for the room sound test. Uh, now I will do the close-up test and then I'll do a little bit of a pop test and then finally I'll end off with something about two feet away and then we will end this test itself. Uh, I'll also add one more whisper test uh, while I'm at it. So uh, the test now is the close-up test and rather than move the mics down which will be very troublesome later I'll just stand up and then let you guys hear so you can see half my body. So uh, this is actually the close-up test so I'll let you guys hear how it sounds like when you actually close up. So uh, this is about two inches away from my mouth. I'll let you guys hear how it sounds like and which is actually a nicer sound to you. Now um, shotgun mics are not very known to be like so close up mics but the MKH416 is quite well known for the purpose of voice over. So I should let you guys hear how it sounds like when both of these mics are used like a voice over mic. Now the next thing I'm going to try is of course the pop test. Peter Piper pick a pack of pickle pebbles. 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 So let you guys hear how does the pop sound between both of this microphone and now I will move away two feet away and then we will try the last test which is the sound when you are quite far two feet away from the subject itself. So uh, the mics are now about two feet away from me so you can see it's more than arm's length you can't, I can't even touch the microphone. So this is like a simulation if you were to put the mic a little bit further away from the subject and then how it sounds like. Two feet is uh, not very far not very near so I think it is about there. Now uh, the, both of these mics are, as I say, considered as a more low-end microphone. So I think in terms of expectations, you know, you have to know what you're going to get with this price. So uh, pretty much all this test is to let you guys know what to expect out of a mic for this type of price point and what kind of quality you expect out of the sound itself. So far, I think that uh, when I heard it earlier, I think it's okay, not that bad. But uh, no, I will leave that for my concluding part of this video here. Now, and I want to conclude this whole review here. So, I already heard both of these microphones earlier. And uh, that's because, you know, I felt that it's a lot better if I hear it beforehand before I do the actual review. So, I can give you a 
concluding thoughts on both of these microphones itself. Now, uh, the both of these microphones, if you ask me, when it comes to the packaging standpoint, the Boya, of course, gave more things. And when it comes to construction, they felt about the same. Maybe the NTG is a bit more solid. That's about it. Uh, and when it comes to the all the tests themselves, I think the only standout test was the... Um, the traffic sound test, where I actually played the traffic sound itself, I find that the Boya is better in that test itself. It made my voice more stand up and it dulls the traffic sound a little bit more. While the NTG 4 Plus just felt a little bit more chaotic to me. While almost every other test I would say is, is a personal preference, even the general sw swapping of sound that you heard throughout the entire video, I heard it just now. I felt that, you know, it's something that is a personal preference which you prefer. Do you want a more radio-ish uh, sound that I felt uh, it's very different from the NTG4 Plus. I mean, I do not know how to explain it, but they just sound so different. And they were not better in either way. I mean, m none of them, both of them doesn't sound very natural, if you ask me. I mean, natural-wise, the A060 will have beat them anyway. But <laughs> between both of these mic, I think it's a personal preference which mic you prefer in terms of sound quality. In fact, all the tests just felt the same way, which mic do you prefer? I wouldn't say any mic was better than the other, other than the traffic test, which I felt that the Boya was better itself. To put things into frame, really, the Boya is a $200 sing dollars mic. I mean, it's just $130 USD. You know, in comparison, why the NTG... Okay, let's talk about sing dollars price because the US price was very expensive. The NTG 4 Plus is about $370 sing dollars, so that is about $250 USD. For half the price, the Boya does deliver in most aspects, unless you don't like the Boya sound quality, or uh, the sound, uh, the sound from the Boya. If you don't like the sound from the Boya wise, then there's nothing to compare. But you know, if the sound is okay to you, I think both of these might are very comparable. I mean, they just sound different. They are not like better than the other. Just sound different to me. That's what I feel about both of these microphones themselves. Uh, that's about it for today. Uh, this is just to test out some low-end microphones rather than some high-end ones that I always test out. So, you know, let you guys know how does both of these mics sound like. And really, if you are on a very extreme budget, the Boya is actually not a bad choice. That's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.